Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today it's time for a little bit of myth busting because there is some very interesting FUD going around. Um, I don't know why this FUD keeps going around. It happened to us in, I believe, two Rocket Lab weeklies that we were talking about the Archimedes engine and somebody just starts commenting uh, the Archimedes engine blew up. And um, then obviously, I don't know if it's for the clicks or for the attention and it gets a lot of views and, you know, we, we end up talking about it. And it happened again, a um, bigger Twitter account, the Space Engineer, um, who actually seems to be covering a lot of space engineering stuff. Uh, it's quite a legit account. And he starts writing about that the Archimedes engine blew up. The tweet gets... 95,000 views. That's very significant when it comes to Rocket Lab. Uh, so I felt like I have to make a video about this because, yeah, you will see. It needs a little bit of explaining. But before we get into this, the meat and potatoes of this video, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I want to give a shout out to uh, the channel members who uh, support me in being able to bring you guys content. You guys know who you are. There is about 17 of you now. Uh, thank you so much. And if you want to join, uh, there is a link in the description, description box below. I can't speak. It's a bit late here. Uh, so let's begin the video. So this is the tweet that I'm speaking about. It's by the space engineer. Uh, it was posted 16 hours ago. So it says, so Archimedes might have exploded. Uh, quoted post was the last update on Archimedes uh, engine testing program. In the bill post, Peter says about a week to full run. Funny thing is, six days later, a fire was detected at their test then. Uh, no other news uh, has come out since. Uh, then he adds, originally pointed out to me by a good friend at Captain D2SR2, uh, did some more digging uh, through the Landsat 8 unprocessed data beyond uh, this, and it definitely seems to have been active. For a fire to register in this database, it must be burning for a decent period of time. Uh, this was burning brightly, July 18th, uh, 2024, and he gives the time. Uh, local time CST was when it was first acquired, and you can see the confidence of it being H or high. Something weird happened there for sure. Looks like it may have exploded as stated before. Um, so this is the post that he wrote. Um, so first of all, I am very much in doubt that this would have happened. And even if this would have happened, I'm going to show you some things that would indicate that this is a normal uh, procedure when you're testing rockets. So first of all, to do a hot fire test, you need to do fire. Um, that is, you know, the, the basis of the hot fire test. I don't fully know how this satellite works uh, because he's saying that for you to show up on the satellite picture, uh, it needs to the fire needs to be burning uh, quite bright and for a very long period of time. Now, if they are testing the engine uh, for a full day with you know them turning it on and off and on and off and testing it you know at different um, throttle levels. Would it make it register on uh, the satellite? Because it's not a continuous fire, but in a way it's like happening throughout the day, right? So that's point number one. Uh, then I want to show you some other reaction to this tweet. And by the way, Rocket Lab has not commented on this and Peter Beck has not commented on this which I guess adds to the mystery of this because, uh, for example, on the launch that just happened two days ago, uh, there was too much gimbal or too much uh, shaking of stage two when it separated. Some people on Twitter pointed it out and Peter Beck did answer. Um, and he said that, yes, like we have a very big margin for this and it was normal what happened, but we like to have the stage separation cleaner than that. So we are going to look at it. So it's not like, Rocket Lab doesn't answer these kind of tweets. Uh, so the fact that Rocket Lab didn't answer, I don't know if, it, if they think it's like this is BS and people don't believe it anyways, um, or it really did happen and uh, they're just figuring out a way how to um, let the public know, right? However, um, 
Here is some different tweets about this cycle. So new interview with Rocket Lab CEO Sir Peter back on Bloomberg. This is the interview. I posted it also on um, the day before yesterday's YouTube video. Peter sounded very confident. He was down in Stennis. He said that uh, neutron development is going according to plans. I don't see uh, why he would have sounded so happy and so confident if the engine would have uh, blown up in a bad way. Um, so this is number one. Number two, uh, naturally we're all, did I? so here we go, yeah. Uh, naturally, we're all waiting for uh, news of the start of the hot fires. Beck Haver said in an interview this week that Neutron is on track for a mid-2025 launch. If they just rutted the Archimedes engine, rutted stands for rapid unscheduled um, disassembly, which is actually a SpaceX term, but yeah, why not? We're all rocket people. We can we can use this term. So if they just rutted an Archimedes, uh, I wouldn't have expected such a comment from Peter back on Neutron. So that's the uh, same thing that I was saying. Naturally, we can expect to find out updates on what is happening at Q2 earnings on the 8th of August. So the Q2 earnings are four freaking days away. I'm 100% that we're going to get a very nice update. I'm 99.9% .9 sure uh, that there has been a successful hot fire and they're going to show that um, on earnings. Now, here's another comment. Um, to this tweet, uh, Eric Berger, who is um, a journalist with uh, Ars Technica, pretty big uh, space journalist, he, he writes, the Archimedes is very much a development engine. So if this happened, it is far from the end of the world. SpaceX blew up a lot of Merlins uh, back in the day. So he is suggesting that like, if this did actually happen and the engine did blow up, uh, it's kind of part of, uh, you know, testing an engine and, and this, this sort of stuff happens. And we know from Rocket Lab that they have three other engines uh, on the standby. Now, I just want to show you another test that Rocket Lab has done. Um, why I think that there's a chance they on purpose blew up the Merlin engine. So uh, this test is the stage two uh, cryogenic uh, tank test of Neutron. And here what they're testing is they're filling it up up to a certain pressure that they're going to uh, use the tank for, right? And then they did all the tests and then this structure passed that test and then they continued filling it with gas and increasing the pressure because they wanted to see where the structure would fail, which is something that you would want to find out. Um, so there is a chance that they did the hot fire test, it was successful, and then at the end, they wanted to see how far can this engine go? You know, what would make the engine blow up? And if it blows up, how would it blow up? What are different sensors showing? Uh, you know, how does it actually happen? So it could be that then they, you know, push the pedal to the metal, throttled up the rocket engine to the max that it could do. And then they on purpose blew it up. Uh, now, another last point that I want to raise why I think that this story of that there has been a fire burning for more than a day, very highly unlikely. I don't know why I didn't prepare such videos, but every time when a rocket blows up or an engine blows up, normally it's a very fast thing. Um, and normally what happens is the gas tanks, they rupture and all the flammable and whatever gas mixes and then it burns at the same time. And it doesn't last I don't know, like probably not even a minute. I'm not a rocket scientist, but definitely not hours and hours and hours. So it would show up on a satellite. Uh, not even speaking about that there's probably security at the test tent because it's a test tent. So they can, you know, cut the fuel. Probably the fuel tanks are a safe distance from even if the engine blows up, like there must be a lot of safety on this. So I highly, highly doubt that Rocket Lab had a completely uncontrolled explosion that was burning for days on end and nobody in the surroundings saw, you know, big smoke going up and nobody took their cell phone uh, to report it. Uh, so in summary, my viewpoint is I really don't think that the Archimedes engine blew up. I think that um, we have had a successful hot fire test and we're going to hear about it in four days. 
um, on the earnings. It's very, very exciting. So this is what I think happened. I think that there's a low likelihood of that they on purpose blew up the engine uh, to see uh, how far it can go, you know, test its uh, limits. And I think that there's like a 0.000001% chance that they had an accidental blow up of the engine. Uh, but I think that they would have been transparent about it and they would have posted about it. Remember, Rocket Lab has enough money uh, in the bank to get Neutron to the pad. And even since then, they raise more capital for uh, you know acquisitions. So they have plenty of money. They don't need to rush this. They don't need to be... Uh, they have zero reason to not be transparent uh, about this um, because if you would say, yeah, they don't want the stock price to fall, the news is going to come out at one point and then the stock price is anyways just going to fall, but you lose uh, a lot of respect from your investors. I, I, it's not the guy that uh, I knew Peter Beck, I know Peter Beck as, and it's not the team of Rocket Lab. Um, they are way better than this. So I, I think that this is just fake news and it's very, very good for the clicks, but, um, it has no relevance for us guys. So I'm very excited about the earnings. Please let me know, uh, in the comments, what you think is going to happen on earnings. And by the way, uh, me and Matt have an interview with Peter back coming up, uh, on Friday evening. And as a, as a thank you to the channel members who have supported this channel, channel uh, I want you guys to put in the comments uh, what you want me to ask uh, Sir Peter back. I can't guarantee that I'm going to ask your question. Uh, obviously, it, it helps if you guys like the question that you want asked. And again, this is for the people who are channel members and support uh, the channel for which I'm very thankful for. And this is why I do this uh, for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.